This winch does not work. Didn't work when I bought it. Let's do what it takes to get that working again. So the way this winch operates, it is PTO driven off the bulldozer, but it also has hydraulics which control the uh, clutches and brakes. And that's kind of where the uh, problem lies. So this is like the hydraulic return. We're missing a hose right here. And then when we move, And when we go under the uh, floor pan here, there is a hydraulic pump that is supposed to be right here. Cody, what do you think about that winch? Cody, what do you got? I think this is part of the old pump here. that right there okay all right so so that all right so that goes on there that's good look how far maybe we need to use that flush on the inside there. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, so now we have to hook up hoses, which unfortunately hoses are missing um, what they gave us. So I assume that goes right there. And this probably goes right there. All right, let's figure out where they gotta go. So we got that filter right there. the new one that looks probably the same look at that it's clean let's just get the dust off the outside <laughs> So I have a list here with machine filters for any time I put a filter in something I write it down. So that way if you need it again you're not searching for the filter number. So it goes right there. That's on the pressure side, that filter. Okay, no, now we gotta get the hoses measured. What is this? Garbage. So, to measure this length, I figure this will work. So that one's got to go right there, probably right across, going through that one clamp. All right, and it's got to go to that thing right there. So let's put a mark. Let's put a blue mark right here. That's going to be the end of the hose. Right there, okay. So this is our length of our pressure hose, and it's going to have the female threads on this. So actually here, let's just. Well, that's the threads on that. Now is this the same? Looks like it. Yeah, that's. Yeah, that's the same thing. Okay. I always like setting stuff up so you don't have to think. So like blue goes with blue. This hose needs to be this long with the female threads that go onto this on both sides with uh, straight fitting, easy. And now our return side is that, so that just goes over with a clamp and... All right, so that that's where that's gonna go to on this side and that looks the same. Yeah, that's the same, that's fine, okay. And we even have our clamp here, but... All right, so let's just tie this right here just to get the length right because it's a little tiny right there you okay okay so we're coming pretty much a straight shot right through there that's gonna go that's gonna go right there but 
Okay, there. yeah, that yeah, that's the end right there. And then and the other end. So. Oh. A question if these are the right threads or not here. Yeah, that's going. Okay. That looks a lot better. Yeah. <sighs> 
notice in this vent is kind of right in the way of where that hose has to be. So. I just turn this. Oh yeah, maybe. Pretty nice. Just leave just leave the wrench there forever, no? fluid in this. Let's have more buckets than you think you're gonna need. Let's see, there's a drain right there. Where's your frisbee? Is that your frisbee? What do you think? How much oil is in here? You just think I throw the frisbees up. You don't even give it to me. There we go, finally. Okay, All right, I just looked at the manual. It says to fill it up until oil comes out of. Oh, I 
Oh, she said level right there. I guess I could have looked at that first. But... And I want to fill it from here because I just want to make sure the pump has oil in it. Fill it from there, but let me. Oh. oh crap, did I break that? This is magnets. This, the metal particles stuck to it. Uh, is it taking the metal? Yeah, it's kind of working. Look at that. Oh, oh, it's coming out. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Figuring this out. Gasoline. go down there. Yeah, let's do that. I want it to go in there. I want it to fill up that pump. Oh, oh, a little fast. Just got oil coming out of there. All right, so they said to check to make sure it's pumping. Okay, so. So that's right on the pressure side of the the supply line. So we're gonna, we're just making sure this pumps before actually like starting this thing.
it's jammed in there pretty good. Let's see if we can pull it out. cable on this thing. So this is break off. Look at this thing. Dude, that's like 500 feet. What 
does, that gas gets that nice and clean. Look at that. I had forgot to put this on and hold the magnets. And that's it, okay. That should be attached to that better. So I'm gonna do that. Alright, I feel fine about that. You know, it's got these hoses here which I see nothing to hook them up there to and nothing to hook them up here. I'm curious what these may have been, but let's uh, keep them somewhere else. Thing looks like it's leaking and there's a few grease fittings hidden under here all back together all right so somebody did this and that's been the pony motor gas tank next video on this dozer I'll fix that right The guy says this runs, it just doesn't move. Oh, it's dead. All right, can our windows at least roll down? Can you get the back ones? Oh. Oh, there's no gas in it though. Can you get the back windows down?
Then check this out. This is a five ace grade 100 chain. Looking at this and that's just gonna break instantly. We are planning on making a uh, limousine here, a stretch limousine, so. Something will happen. The, uh, the winch seems to be working perfectly. It, pretty sure it's unstoppable, so that's cool. And uh, let me get this cleaned up. And then uh, we'll work on the next thing. <laughs>